Hi yo, it is Nico Wallet from Arch Pro and in this sunny July morning, not 1st of July of course, but I will do another video in which I will explain how to create custom windows in Archicad. This is a very relevant topic, especially for architects and I think that um, it's not fully explained in the menu or the videos in YouTube and uh, so I decided to make a video myself. Now uh, first we we'll have to build it on the floor plan. The window with its uh, size and uh, geometry and uh, type of course. Uh, in this case I will make a simple um, trapezoid window and uh, I will define uh, the transom and also its uh, uh, shape of course. Now let's uh, use a slab for this uh, job. Um, use a thickness of uh, about 6. Let's begin with a simple rectangle. I will define the dimensions 100 by 150. We said it's gonna be trapezoid, so I will make it so. Let's click on this one. All right. Hold the, the key long enough, and I will type distance from this point uh, about thirty. All right. Go to the middle again, and uh, hold this point, and I will go there. And now I will just use my up polygon button, delete the not needed part, and I will check if my vertical sides are aligned. And if it's sturdy, alright. This is the main uh, shape of the window, as you can see, it's uh, 30 by 75 uh, by 50. Then go is uh, tan tangent of uh, these two values. Now I will offset two times to create the outer and the inner frame. The outer will be 8 and the inner will be 4. And now I will subtract. Alright, we have our frames. Now I will define different materials. I will use just the building materials. Let's use random finish and override the materials. Now I, I want to just see what I've done. Alright, basically this is the main shape of the window. Now I will have to do some overrides of course. Let's override the materials. Change the thickness. This will be 6. This will be, let's say, 4. This will be 8. And elevate. This will be just 0.5, and I will elevate it minus 4. Alright, this, this will be our window. Alright, this will be it. We have two openable frames here and uh, two fixed glasses uh, on the top. Let's check. Yes, exactly what I expected to see, and this will be our window. Now I will show you the difference between two types of defining. I will select all objects, go to File, 
libraries and object save selection as window and specify the file name. I will load it. And I will show the wall in three. You can see the difference it makes when you define it that, that way. The program assumes that uh, the outer edges define the rectangle that cuts the wall. In this case, I don't want it to be rectangle. I want it uh, to be with uh, with um, a trapezoid shape. Therefore, I will show you the correct way to do it. First, delete all the nothing with polygons. And uh, when you have the cut shape for the wall, you can see it's the outer edges, but in this case it's not rectangular. I will go to the ID of the slab and uh, type wall hole. And I will copy it over the window. And again, I will save selection as window. I will select it for the entire type it window. That's it. Correct. All right. Let's load it. I press Alt plus L. And let's again create a window. And we'll see the difference. Let's specify the correct window. As you can see, it it looks quite different. It it cuts the wall through the trapezoid shape, and of course you can change the parameters, uh, change the line types, and uh, pens of course, pen one, pen two, these are all definable. And you can achieve uh, the window you like. So thanks for watching, I hope it was uh, useful for you, I wish you inspiration in your architectural practice. It's Nicole Wallet from Marpo signing off.